With Blue Lock being an anime about soccer, it's common that there are going to be a ton of goals that are scored in the entire series. But exactly how many goals have been scored in the entire series so far? So that is exactly what I'm going to be covering today. Every single goal scored in the Blue Lock series up to chapter 245 of the manga. Now there are going to be some things that I need to address that will affect the overall counter of however many goals that are scored, and I will explain them as they come up in the series. For this video, I'll be covering the goals scored in the main series, as well as the episode Nagi spinoff series. Now I'll only be covering the manga canon goals that are scored, so if there is a scene of a character scoring a goal in the anime, but that specific shot of the ball going in the net is not in the manga, I will not be counting it. And as I'm writing this, the PXG vs Master Munchen match has not happened yet, meaning the most recent chapter is chapter 245, and the episode Nagi's side story is only up to chapter 18 of their series, and since it's likely that more goals will be scored past this point on in the series, do not leave a comment saying that the total is not accurate or that I'm missing goals scored after those points in the manga. Also, I'm going to have a goal total counter somewhere on screen for you so you can see the overall of however many goals that are scored in the series up to this point. So, uh, I don't know where that's going to be, at the top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, it's going to be somewhere. Before I begin though, I do think I need to explain what I'm defining as a goal is in this series. Now, I don't believe that I need to explain what a goal is in soccer since I think it's pretty obvious. It's just a soccer ball crossing over the line and going inside the net. However, I'm only going to be counting goals that have a goalkeeper in play as any goal scored without a goalkeeper really don't have much merit to them. So all goals scored must have a goalkeeper in play in order to be counted. Does that seem fair? Also, you can still kind of hear it, but I am kind of sick. So if I sound weird, that's kind of why. Now before I get into the video, spoilers for the block manga as well as the episode Nagi spin-off manga and if you're not cut up on either, click off this video right now. The first goal we see in this series is in chapter 1 where we see Ichinan vs Machikaze Koko where Machikaze's team already has one goal up. Where right afterwards, Kira follows up by scoring another goal himself. We then see a flashback in Isagi's mind as to if he scored the goal, which despite not technically being real, we still see him score against a goalkeeper, so I'm kinda counting it. Now currently that is all of the pre block goals scored in the main series, but let's cut to the episode Nagi side series to see how many goals are scored there. We first see Nagi score a goal against Aomori Dadada in chapter 1 of the spinoff, and in chapter 2 we see Nagi score again against an unknown team. We then see in chapter 2 Leo shoot at the net and score with several other soccer balls sitting within the net, however due to our death definition of a counted goal that we mentioned earlier, we can't count any of these as goals scored. And with that, those are all of the goals scored so far pre blue lock, with the total coming out to 5 goals scored. Going into the first selection, we are cutting back to the main series where we have Team Z versus Team X. Now the first goal that we see scored in the first selection was from Bara, where he proceeded to score 5 goals in a single chapter. In the following chapter, Izugi's pass to Kunigami allows for Team Z to score a single goal, adding up 6 to our total. In chapter 10 we get a view of the first round matches. We see that Team B scored 8 against Team Y, we see that Team X scored 1 against Team W who scored 4, and then we have the 5 to 1 total from before, which means that we need to add another 13 to our goal total. In chapter 11, we have Okawa who scored against Team Z, followed by Gagamaru's insane clutch goal in chapter 12. And to end that match is Isagi's goal against Team Y, bringing our total goal counter up by 3. In chapter 15, we see more results of matches where we see that Team X scored 3 goals against Team Y, with them scoring 4. Team V scoring 5 goals against Team W, with them scoring 1. So let's add up another 13 to our total. Now against Team W, we have Kuon scoring 3 goals, followed by the Wanamar brothers also scoring 2 in Chapter 17. Team W scored 2 more goals in Chapter 18, leading into Chikadi's backstory where we see him score 1 more goal as a child, with him then scoring against Team W in Chapter 21, and with that, our goal total increases by 8. With Chikadi scoring against Team W, bringing Team Z's total to 4, we also see the match results of Round 7 where we see that Team V scored 5 goals against Team X, who scored 2. Against Team V, Nagi scored against Team Z in Chapter 26, followed by him and Zantetsu each scoring one more goal in the following chapter. In Chapter 28, we have Bachata who inspires Team Z by performing his super special goal, followed by Kunigami in Chapter 29 and Chigiri in Chapter 31. With Nagi's awakening allowing for him to score in Chapter 32 and Kunigami's wave assault in Chapter 33, Team Z ties it up with Team V 4-4. And in chapter 37, Isagi scores against Team Z, allowing for him not only to win against Team V, but also adding 9 goals to our total, rounding off the first selection goal counter at 65 goals scored so far. 
So that is all of the confirmed goals that we have from the first selection. And now despite there also being four more stratums, we have no definitive conclusion as to however many goals were scored in any of the other stratums. So we can't count any extra goals from those guys. For the second selection, this is where the goal scoring gets a little bit confusing, so rather than simply using the manga, I'll be using the official wiki to assist me in calculation. See up first we have the 100 goals challenge, which despite not seeing all of them, I will be counting the goals scored for those who did progress past this stage. Now according to the official blue lock wiki, the highest number of the 100 goals challenge completionist was Shido at rank 111, meaning 111 people passed the 100 goals challenge. And because of this, I need to add 11,100 goals to the goal counter. However, because I'd rather leave the goals that aren't scored during that 100 goals challenge on our counter, I'm excluding the 100 goals challenge for now, just leaving them off the counter, and then we can include them at the end of the video just for gits and shiggles. Now looking at the second selection, we have six matches that have confirmed goal counters. In the second stage, we have Isagi and Nagi versus Baro and Naruhaya, adding nine goals to the total counter. And then we have Shiro and Igaguri versus Reo and Kunigami, which due to not fully seeing or knowing about how many points are scored, we can only count five as five is the requirement to move on. In the third stage, we have Isagi, Bachara, and Nagi vs Rin, Aryo, and Tokimitsu, adding seven goals to the total. We then have Naruhaya, Nishioka, and Baro versus an unknown team, adding nine goals to the total due to Baro scoring four and the other team getting five. And then we have Isagi, Nagi, and Baro versus Kunigami, Reo, and Chigiri, adding nine goals to the total. And in the final stage, we have Isagi, Baro, Chigiri, and Nagi versus Rin, Aryo, Tokimitsu, and Bachara, with the score being five to four, so we need to add another nine goals to our total. Now here is where the big trouble comes in. There are seven teams that make it to the end of the second selection. We know that Niku and Zantetsu teamed up, and yet Zantetsu moved over to Nagi's team, meaning that's another 10 goals added due to Kyorujin also being someone that they needed to steal. And because Niko's team lost, assuming that they don't lose again, that will take another 15 goals for them to catch up, so we have to add 15. And then assuming every other team didn't lose any players and simply scored 5 goals total, that's another 30 with teams 3, 4, and 6 scoring 10 goals to fully pass the selection, with team 7 needing 10, so that would make 40 goals added to our total. But then you have the World 5, which aside from Shiro and Rin, nobody was able to score on them, so that's another 35 goals, plus 2 due to Rin and Shiro's goals. Meaning at the end of the second selection, there was a speculated 152 goals scored in that second selection, not counting the 11,100 goals from the 100 goals challenge, making our current goal total 217 goals scored. Now it's time for the third selection where we have five matches that have been confirmed. First is team A versus team B where there are nine goals scored. Next up is team A versus team C with eight goals being scored. Next up is team B versus team C with eight goals being scored as well. After that is team A versus team B again with there being seven goals scored. And the last match of the third selection is team A versus team C again with there being nine goals scored. Now after the third selection there aren't many goals that get scored until the U20 match. During the U20 match we start with the Toshisai scoring a beautiful goal with a downward spin shot in chapter 115. Following that is Nagi's jumping turn volley which he scores in chapter 117 and is closely backed up by Rin's outside spin shot which he scores in 120 leading up to halftime giving Bullock the lead 2 to 1. Now after halftime we start the Itoshi brother flashback in chapter 123 where we see Sai score against this random player followed by Chai Rin rushing in and scoring from Sai's pass. At the start of chapter 124 we see Rin score again followed by him scoring again from Sai's pass and then we get a jump to Rin being older scoring against a team named Rick after that goal we see Rin shooting towards the net, however because of the claws we mentioned at the beginning of the video, these goals don't count. Now leading back into the second half of the U20 match, we have Shido's goal thanks to Sai and his chemical reaction in chapter 127, bringing the score to 2-2. Two to two. However this tie doesn't last long as Shido unlocks Flo and scores a goal in chapter 130, bringing the score to 3-2. to two. Igo's last ditch effort to defeat the U20 team swaps in Baro Shoei in chapter 131, whose kingly actions and mindset allows for him to tie the score back up 3-3 three to three in chapter 137. And within the last minute of extra time, Isagi unlocks his new skill called Luck Positioning, allowing for him to score the final goal of the Blue Lock vs U20 match, bringing not only Blue Lock the victory, but a total of 7 goals scored from this match to add to our counter. Meaning after the U20 match, there are a total of 270 goals scored. The 
first match of the new Igwis League begins in chapter 159 with Kunigami barely missing a goal, allowing for Pachata to debut his new dribbling style, Jinga X Monster, as well as his own individual chemical reaction called B Shot in chapter 161, allowing for him to score the very first goal of the new Igwis League. Barch's lead doesn't last long though as Kaiser's unique shooting technique, the Kaiser Impact, is put on full display tying it up one to one. Lavinho's excitement subs him into the game as well as Noah Noah, allowing for both of them to score their own goals. Now Izagi's current skills don't allow for him to score goals on his own, resorting to assist Kunigami in reawakening his hero's lefty, allowing for him to score the final goal of the Barcha match in chapter 167 of the manga, giving Bastard the win 3 to 2 and also adding 5 goals to our goal total. In the following chapter we get a peek at the PXG vs Ubers match, where we can see the match conclude with Rin scoring the final goal bringing the score 3-2 and also adding 5 more goals to our total. The match against Manchan City begins in chapter 174 and despite an impressive attempt by Rayo, Gagamaru's insane save leaves him unable to score. However, with Chigure's new golden zone formula, not even Gagamaru can stop the 44 Panther snipe, leading to the first goal of the game in chapter 176. However, just like before, Kaiser debuts not just his Kaiser impact but also his predator eye tying the score right back up in chapter 181. Izugi's analysis of Kaiser leads him to unlocking Metavision which nearly results in him scoring, if not for Kaiser's interruption causing his shot to go off course. However, thanks to Kunigami's jumping volley, he's able to ensure its placement and score in chapter 185. Ryo and Nagi's reunion allows for both of them to unlock their flow state, allowing for Nagi to surpass that of Kaiser, Izugi, and Gagamaru, awakening his 5 stage revolver fake volley shot scoring and bringing the game back 2-2 two two in chapter 190. Thanks to that goal, however, Izuki unlocks egocentricism detection, allowing for him to send a final pass to the destroyed Yukimiya, bringing him back into the game with a new technique sword screw, scoring against the Manchine City goalie, winning the game 3-2 to two in chapter 202, adding 5 more goals to our goal counter. In chapter 204, we learn the results of the Ubers vs Barcha game, with Baro scoring a hat trick, and Bachata scoring as well, adding 4 goals to our counter. The Ubers vs Bastard Munchen match commences in chapter 210, however we see the Bastard team training in chapter 208 where we see Izugi outplay Yukimiya and score, adding another goal to the total. However, back to the Ubers game, Izugi's interruption of Lorenzo's assault allows for him to break down the remaining defenders, with Corona's assistance of course, and debuts his own new weapon, the lefty shot, scoring not only the first goal of the match, but his first goal in the new Egoist League in chapter 212 of the manga. Baro of course didn't like that, so on the restart, Ubers performs a new assault, allowing for Baro to score with a new shooting technique called Stealth Kill Shot, which utilizes his Predator Eye Vision, scoring in chapter 216. Unfortunately for Bastard, Lorenzo is locking down Kaiser, so he's unable to score or really do anything this match until Izugi's pass baits him off of Kaiser for a single moment in chapter 219, which lets him perform a bicycle kick Kaiser impact, scoring the second goal for Bastard, bringing the score up 2-1. Nobaro during this match was getting blocked by Izugi over and over and over, and he decides that he's going to be Miles Morales and he wants to do his own thing, allowing for him to take over Snuffy's team and score a double nutmeg goal in chapter 228. We get a flashback of Snuffy and his friend in chapter 229, where we see them score a goal at the beginning of the chapter, followed up by the scoreboard in another panel, showing three more goals were scored. Now due to there being no indication that they were in the same match, I'm simply counting them as four goals rather than three. After Baro's goal, Yusuke requests that Hiyori be put on the field, and thanks to their combination of Metavision, they formed a Metavision chemical reaction, allowing for them to surpass Lorenzo, Kaiser, and all of Uber's defense, letting him score the final goal of the match in chapter 238. With that match concluding, there are five goals that are added to our goal counter, and we also get a peek at the PX vs Manchin City match in the next chapter, showing us that Rin scored a hat trick against them with Chigiri being the only one to score on Manchin City's side, adding 4 more goals to our total. Following that match, we see Kaiser training where we see him score on Blue Lock Man in chapter 241. We do see him shoot again later in the chapter, however we do not see if it actually goes in the net so I can't really count it. In chapter 242, we begin Ness's flashback with Kaiser, where we witness Kid Ness watch a professional game, where we see one goal get scored by the players, and then later in the chapter, we see Ness score himself. Ness then tries out for the Bastard Munchen Club, where he fails to shake a Bastard player, and then they score. We then have Ness and Kaiser's first team up in chapter 243, where Ness's pass allows for Kaiser to score during the tryouts. 
We also see that the team opposing this had scored previously to us seeing it due to the scoreboard being 2-1. And then Kaiser scores when this is passed two more times, not only bringing the score to 3-2, but concluding the flashback with seven goals being scored. In chapter 244, we see the PX Sheepers Barcha match begin, where we see Rigin score with a spinning mid-range shot thanks to Charles's pass, followed by Shido coming in and scoring as well. We then get a small cut to the Manchester City vs Ubers match in chapter 245, where we see the score is 2-1 with Sendo scoring the final goal for Ubers adding four more goals to the total. We cut back to the PXG vs Barcha match where we see Shido scoring the final goal for PXG with Barcha having two goals thanks to Lavinho, Bajada, and Rotoya, meaning another five goals are added to the counter. Meaning so far in the new Egoist League there were a total of 50 goals scored as of chapter 245 bringing our total goals to 320 goals scored in the block manga. Before we get into the results, I just want to say that I did miss two goals as I'm rereading the manga as I'm editing this video to make sure I did get all of the goals and I missed two. That being one goal from Team Y and one goal from Team W that was scored before the Team V match. So I'm going to include them now. So our total of first selection goals is 59, not 57. So um, I'm going to add those to our goal counter right now. But now let's take a look at the actual results. There were 322 goals that were scored in the Blue Lock manga. Five were pre-Blue Lock. 62 were first selection goals, 152 were second selection goals, 41 were third selection goals, 12 were U20 goals, and 50 were new Egoist League goals. Now not counting the 11,100 goals scored during the 100 goals challenge, as well as other goals scored by players that haven't been seen playing, that is all of the goals in the block manga. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and it took me a hell of a long time and I'm actually writing this video on Christmas Day so you can probably see how long it has actually taken me to make this video because I had to reread the entire Blue Lock manga as well as the episode Nagi manga to make sure that I didn't miss a single goal that got scored so if you could just please leave a little bit of a like on this video because it took me a hell of a lot of time. Also for the question of the video, which of the goals made in the series so far is your favorite and why? Please leave me your thoughts down below in the comments. Also remember, this video only covers goals scored prior to the PXG vs Bastard match as that match has not come out yet as of me making this video. But besides that, thank you all for watching, like and subscribe for more content just like this.